Hello everyone. Today we delve into an intriguing topic that's close to everyone's hearts and taste buds, sugar. Specifically, we're talking about 30 days sugar detox. What happens to your body when you quit sugar? Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now what is a sugar detox? It's a dedicated period, say a week, or in our case, a full month, of consciously abstaining from added sugars in your diet. The average person consumes a startling 20 teaspoons of added sugar per day, a number that towers over the recommended amount. This excess sugar consumption is not just about the extra calories. It's linked to a host of health issues, from heart disease to type 2 diabetes. By embarking on a sugar detox, we're aiming to reassess and reform our relationship with sugar, promoting healthier balanced eating habits in the long run. So, if you've been contemplating a sugar detox, or just want to understand it better, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. First, it's important to understand why we crave sugar in the first place. Our desire for sugar is not just about indulging our sweet tooth. It's a complex interplay of biology and psychology. Let's delve deeper into the science behind this. When we consume sugar, it triggers a release of dopamine in our brain. Dopamine is often referred to as the feel-good hormone because it creates feelings of pleasure and reward. This means that every time we eat something sweet, we're essentially rewarding our brain with a burst of dopamine. It's no surprise then that our brain starts to associate sugar with feeling good and begins to crave it. But it's not just about the dopamine. Consuming sugar also leads to a spike in our blood sugar levels. This gives us a quick energy boost, but it's short-lived. Soon after, our blood sugar levels crash, leaving us feeling tired and sluggish. This sudden drop prompts our body to crave more sugar to restore energy levels, thus creating a cycle of sugar intake, energy spikes, and subsequent crashes. Moreover, this isn't just about the sugar we knowingly consume. Added sugars sneak into many of the foods we eat, from sauces to bread, and these hidden sugars can also contribute to our cravings. However, it's not all doom and gloom. By understanding the science behind sugar cravings, we can be more mindful of our sugar intake. We can identify when our body is genuinely hungry or when it's simply craving that dopamine hit. Understanding these cravings is the first step towards managing them and ultimately reducing our sugar intake. Now that we understand our cravings, let's explore what we should eat during a sugar detox. The key here is not to deprive ourselves, but to nourish our bodies with the right nutrients and two of the most important nutrients in this journey are proteins and healthy fats. Why you ask? Well, both protein and healthy fats play a crucial role in stabilizing our blood sugar levels and reducing cravings. This means that they can help us fight off the urge to reach for that sugary snack. So, what does a sugar detox meal plan look like? For breakfast, consider a protein-packed smoothie with ingredients like spinach, almond milk, and a scoop of your favorite protein powder. You could also go for eggs with avocado on whole grain toast. These options are not only delicious, but also keep you feeling full and satisfied. Moving on to lunch, a salad loaded with leafy greens, lean protein like chicken or tofu, and a variety of colorful vegetables is a great choice. Don't forget to add some healthy fats, such as avocado or olive oil, to help keep those sugar cravings at bay. When dinner time rolls around, opt for a balanced plate of lean protein like grilled salmon or tofu, a serving of complex carbohydrates like quinoa or sweet potato, and a generous helping of vegetables. And if you're feeling pecky between meals, reach for snacks like nuts, seeds, or a piece of fruit. These are all excellent sources of protein and healthy fats, and they're sure to keep your hunger in check until your next meal. Remember, it's not just about avoiding sugar, but also about nourishing your body with the right foods. So, as you embark on your sugar detox journey, make sure to fill your plate with plenty of proteins, healthy fats, and colorful fruits and vegetables. Happy detoxing! But watch out! Sugar isn't just in the obvious places like candy and soda. It's lurking in places you'd least expect, often disguised under different names on food labels. Let's dive into some of these hidden sugars to be aware of. Firstly, Healthy breakfast options like granola, yogurt, and protein bars can be loaded with added sugars. A label may not explicitly say sugar, but words like high fructose corn syrup, 
maltose, dextrose, sucrose, or honey, are all aliases that sugar goes by. So that low-fat or all-natural yogurt may seem like the perfect morning pick-me-up, but it could also be a sugar trap in disguise. Next, let's talk about sauces. Yes, those delightful dips and dressings that add a burst of flavor to your meals. Barbecue sauce, ketchup, salad dressings, and even pasta sauces can contain a high amount of sugar. So the next time you reach for that bottle of dressing, remember to check the label. Breads, especially those labeled as whole grain or multigrain, might seem like a healthy choice, but they can be another source of hidden sugars. Sugar is often added to bread to help yeast grow and make the bread rise. So that sandwich you're enjoying for lunch might be serving you more sugar than you bargained for. Even beverages aren't safe. Fruit juices, energy drinks, and flavored coffees can contain a day's worth of sugar in one serving. It's easy to forget that what we drink can be just as impactful on our sugar intake as what we eat. The goal here isn't to scare you, but to make you more aware. It's about understanding that sugar isn't just in the sweet stuff. It's hidden in everyday foods, often under sneaky names. The key is to read food labels carefully. Look for those aliases, and be mindful of how much sugar you're actually consuming. So, keep your eyes peeled, and always read the label. Now let's talk about the benefits. What can a sugar detox do for you? Well, imagine a life where you're not constantly wrestling with sugar cravings. Picture a day filled with sustained energy without the crashes that come after a sugar rush. That's the reality on the other side of a sugar detox. By reducing sugar intake, you're also reducing your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Too much sugar can lead to weight gain and higher blood pressure, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. High sugar levels in your bloodstream can also lead to insulin resistance, which is a significant factor in developing type 2 diabetes. But it's not just about the serious diseases. A sugar detox can also lead to improved energy levels. Without those sugar highs and subsequent crashes, your energy levels remain more stable throughout the day. You'll feel more awake, more alert, and more productive. And let's not forget about weight loss. Sugar is a major contributor to weight gain. It's often packed into processed foods and drinks, adding extra calories without any nutritional value. By cutting out sugar, you're likely to reduce your overall calorie intake, which could lead to weight loss. But it's not just physical benefits. Reducing sugar can also improve your mental clarity and mood stability. Sugar can have a significant impact on your mood, causing spikes and crashes that can lead to mood swings and irritability. By removing sugar from your diet, you may find your mood becomes more stable and you feel more balanced. Moreover, a sugar detox can help you reassess your relationship with sugar. You'll start to realize how often you reach for sugary foods and drinks, and can begin to make healthier choices. It's a step towards a healthier lifestyle, a step towards taking control of your eating habits. Indeed, the benefits of a sugar detox are plentiful and can greatly improve your health and well-being. Quitting sugar isn't easy, and you might experience some withdrawal symptoms. As your body starts adjusting to a life with less sugar, it's perfectly normal to encounter a few bumps along the road. It's a bit like a roller coaster ride, with highs and lows, but rest assured, it's a ride worth taking. Initially, you might find yourself grappling with intense sugar cravings. Like a moth to a flame, you might feel drawn towards that cookie jar or that ice cream tub in the freezer. This is your body's natural response to the sudden decrease in sugar. But don't worry, these cravings are temporary and will subside over time. As we journey further down the sugar-free road, you might start to feel a bit fatigued. Your body has been relying on sugar for a quick energy boost, and now that the sugar is gone, you might feel a bit low on energy. But remember, this is just your body's way of transitioning to using more sustainable sources of energy, like fats and proteins. And then, there's the mood swings. Sugar has a way of messing with your brain chemistry, and when it's suddenly taken away, it might leave you feeling a bit out of sorts. You might experience bouts of irritability, anxiety, or even mild depression. But don't despair, this is just your brain adjusting to the new norm. The good news is, once you get through this phase, you will likely notice an improvement in your overall mood and mental clarity. So yes, 
quitting sugar can be a bit of a challenge, and it might even feel like you're climbing a mountain. But just like any mountain climb, the view from the top is absolutely worth it. And remember, you don't have to climb this mountain alone. Reach out to friends, family, or even online communities for support and encouragement. Hang in there. Remember, these symptoms are temporary and a sign of progress. Each day you resist the sugar is a day closer to a healthier, more vibrant you. So stay strong, stay committed, and most importantly, stay sugar-free. So, that's a wrap on our deep dive into a 30-day sugar detox. We've covered an array of topics, from the science behind sugar cravings to the specifics of what you can eat during your sugar detox. We've also spoken about hidden sugars lurking in unexpected places and the numerous benefits of stepping away from the sweet stuff. Just to recap, we started off by exploring what a sugar detox really entails. We learned that it's about abstaining from added sugars, not just for a week or a month, but as a stepping stone to reassess our long-term relationship with sugar. Next, we dived into the reasons behind our sugar cravings. It's not just about a sweet tooth, but a complex interplay of brain chemistry, blood sugar levels, and learned behavior. We then delved into the specifics of a sugar detox diet, emphasizing the importance of consuming proteins, healthy fats, and plenty of fruits to help curb those sugar cravings. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, we've got you covered. Unmasking hidden sugars was our next mission. Even foods that seem healthy can often be loaded with added sugars. Being aware of this can help us make more informed food choices. We also talked about the fantastic benefits of a sugar detox, from reducing the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes to promoting healthier eating habits, the advantages are significant. Finally, we discussed what to expect during a sugar detox. Yes, it can be challenging, and yes, there may be withdrawal symptoms, but being prepared for this can make the process much easier and the results so worth it. So are you ready to reassess your relationship with sugar? If you feel a sugar detox may be beneficial, why not give it a go? Remember, it's not about deprivation, but about creating healthier, sustainable habits. If you found this video useful, do leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Good luck on your journey to a healthier and sugar-free you.